Microsoft Teams is all about collaboration and communication. So of course you can collaborate and engage in conversations about files. For instance, we know that right in the conversation stream, inside the conversations tab of a specific channel, you can add a file as a post. You and your students can then click on that file to begin collaborating. Alternatively, you can also collaborate on a file in the Files tab of a specific channel. So let's click on the Files tab and we will click on the file to get started. If it's an Office document such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or OneNote, when you click on the file, you will see an Edit button at the top of the Teams window. When you click this Edit button, you will launch the online app. So for example, because I chose to edit a Word document, I have launched Word Online. Now notice that I'm still in Teams, but I'm editing the document in the Word Online app. This means that I have access to all of the tools in Word Online to help me edit my document. Now, hold on for just a moment. I'm going to switch to Teams in my Chrome browser, and I'm going to launch that document and click Edit. So I'm editing it in the Word Online app. And I want you to notice that you and your students will have access when using Teams in the Chrome browser to the Read and Write uh, toolbar. Now, in addition to having access to all the tools of the Read and Write toolbar, students also have access uh, to Microsoft Immersive Reader. So to access Immersive Reader in Word Online, simply click View and click on Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader provides students of all abilities a variety of options for the way they view text in a document and have that text read aloud to them. Now, Immersive Reader is built into more than just Word Online. It's also available in the OneNote app, as well as other Office 365 file types. Since Immersive Reader is built into these online apps, you and your students have the flexibility of editing documents in Teams in Chrome or accessing Teams on the Edge browser, or you will even find the Immersive Reader tool uh, when you're using Word Online app in Teams in the downloaded app for your PC or Mac. Now, don't forget, while you and your students can simultaneously edit a document in Teams, you can also keep the conversation going in a side chat. Now, you'll notice that my side chat is expanded. If it were collapsed, let's just hide that conversation. If it were collapsed, we'd just click on the uh, chat icon here in the top right corner to show conversation. Now, keep in mind that this chat may be happening live or students may be posting comments as they edit the document at various times throughout the day. Note that comments are timestamped. As well, they identify who posted, so it's easy to keep track of who's involved in the conversation. It's also very easy for everyone involved to reply by simply clicking in the reply field here at the very bottom and adding your message. Once you've added a message, you can press the Enter key to post or click on the paper airplane icon down here in the bottom right corner, just underneath the message text box. When you've finished editing, simply click Close. Don't worry, Word Online saves as you go. Now, this particular file about Marco Polo has been updated. As well, if we go back to the conversation stream, we will see that all of the comments made in the side chat appear within that original post. Now, you might have to expand the post 
in order to see all comments, especially as the conversation picks up and gets going amongst students in the class. So knowing just how easy it is to collaborate on files in Microsoft Teams, the question is, what will you and your students collaborate on today?